Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number 12. It's titled Fireworks. I have my Flash CS5 program on stage and I'm going to start a new Flash file. Action Script 3. The only change we're going to make is background. Left click. Make that black. OK. Open your library panel either with this docked library or pick it up here on their library. Either way, open that panel. Make a new symbol and call it Firework. F I R E W O R K underscore M C. Firework underscore M C movie clip. Close this. We're now inside of that firework movie clip. Make sure that your stroke and fill colors are white. Open this and select your oval tool. I'm on 100% on my stage. Hold my shift down and about two centimeters, about a centimeter away, I'm going to make an oval, a circle, holding my shift down. And it's almost the same size as this one. This little, this is the center of the stage. Go up to 400% so we can see it better. Pick up your free transform tool. And now you see that little circle in the middle. Click on that and drag it down onto there. As close as you can get to it. Don't spend a lot of time trying to be very accurate with it. Pick up your selection tool. Select that dot that we just made. Open up your alignment panel, either alignment panel through the window dock or here. Transform. I got to highlight it again because I opened up that window panel. Transform. We're going to type in degrees, but don't hit enter. Type in 30 degrees, don't enter. Come down here and click, 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 click until you have 10 circles. Close this panel. Go back to 100%. Pick up your selection tool. Highlight it, all, all of it. Modify, convert it to a symbol. Call it F-I-R-S-T first. R I N G underscore M C. It's the first ring of our fireworks. Okay. Come down onto it to get the crosshairs. Right click, copy. Lock this layer. La label this ring one. R I N G one. Insert a new layer. Call this ring 2, R-I-N-G 2. Select the first frame, right click, paste in place. Now we just paste that one directly on top of this one. So free transform tool, hold your shift down and when you get that in double arrows, pull it up to there. Lock that layer. Open another layer called Ring 3. R I N G 3. Select the first frame on that one. Come down to your stage. Right click. Paste in place. Pick up your. If you don't have the squares, which you still should have them because our free transform tool should still be selected. If not, select it. Hold the shift down. Make that one a little bigger. And let's do one more layer. Ring 4, R I N G 4. And let's do the same thing. Let's make our stage a little 50% so we can still see it. Paste in place and hold the shift down and drag that one out like that.
Here we go. Go up to frame 35. Click on the top one and drag it down so I have all the layers selected. Right click, insert keyframe. Now go to 100% on my screen and you can see it's off, it's really big. So go back, frame 50 or 50 sized. Pick up your free transform tool and dragging it all down. I have it all selected. That's as big as it's going to be when it's finished. And I'm going to put that on the center. Going to go back and select all these frames. While that's still all selected, now we're going to make it really small. Very, 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 very small. And if we make this stage a little bigger so we can see what we're doing. We got to get that centered. Up here. So if you can get the crosshairs on there anywhere, drag it up. If not, you're going to have to use your arrow keys. And I'm putting that right on there. So at that frame, it's very small. On this frame, it's very big. Select anywhere in this lower line. Right click. Classic tween. Do the next one. Classic tween. Next one. Classic tween. Next one. Classic tween. So now we have this going on. Okay. Come to about frame 25. Come down. Select all the frames. Right click. Insert keyframe. So we're going to have something take place here. All right. Let's make the stage a little smaller, 50%. Make sure with your selection tool, make sure everything is selected. All those layers are selected. And select these four here. Make sure four layers are selected. One, two, three, four. Open your properties panel. This color effects here. Open that up. Go to alpha and take the alpha down to zero. Close our properties panel and let's see what we have. The firework starts small. It gets big and then it fades out. Let's go back to scene one. Open our library panel. Drag that firework on here. Close it. Let's give it a little test. Test the movie. And there's our firework. Over and over again. Let's go back to the library panel. Open that firework movie clip up. and select here, select all this, everything. Select everything, either that way or put your cursor anywhere on it. Right click, select all frames, either way. Go back on it, right click, copy frames. Copying all the frames. Go back to your library panel. Open a new symbol. Make this firework Two, F I R E W O R K Firework Two, Shift Underscore M C. Close that panel. All you gotta do is click on this one frame, right click, paste frames, and that whole movie clip has been transformed to us. Now we're going to right click, select all frames. And we're going to move them to the right up to about frame 15 here, something like that. Go back to scene one. Open the library panel. Bring in firework two. Set it here. Now, the reason we don't see it is because we have those blank frames. Now, let's test this movie. And we're going to have one come on right away and the other one. 
So if you made three or four of them, that would look really nice, and you can make them different colors. I will be doing a tutorial 13 where I'll combine the tutorial 11, the flare, and this one, tutorial 12, the fireworks. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.